how to eat, drink and explore Sydney for an entire day on just 50 Aussie dollars. Hello, 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 I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. Guys, Sydney's getting more and more expensive. Just in the past few months, I've noticed things just like jumping in price. Anyway, travel is pretty much open now and I've been getting a lot of questions and DMs on things to do in Sydney, how much everything is, places to eat. And these questions have inspired today's video. So today, we're gonna see how far we can stretch $50 here in Sydney. Okay, first thing on our list for today, breakfast. There are lots of cafes in Sydney that I really enjoy and I'll put all these in my description if you want to check it out. One place that I always go to if I need a quick breakfast is a place called Bread Top. They do a whole range of different Asian breads. Before, they used to be even cheaper. They used to be like under $2 and now majority of these are, are typically under $5. So I have got myself a sausage bun. I love sausage buns. These are like a childhood snack. A $3.50 sausage bun. This is what I always used to get, so there's more like memories attached to this than anything. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there's a sushi hub right next to Bread Tub, so if you're feeling like sushi in the morning, the rolls are anywhere between, I think, $3.50 to $4.80. Now we're gonna get coffee. So there's a place called Underground Espresso in QVB that I've heard a lot of good things about, but I've actually never tried. So for today's video, we headed to that place to grab just like a regular coffee. A regular coffee like this came to $3.50, which brings our breakfast total to $7. The coffee's pretty good. They use um, De Lorenzo beans. I'm very happy with it. Okay, if you're not like me and you don't gobble up your food in under two minutes, you should absolutely bring your breakfast and your coffee about 12 minutes walk away from where you are at to the Royal Botanic Gardens. It is so, so beautiful here. There's like a lot of open space where you can go picnics and whatnot. When I used to work in Martin Place, I used to come here for lunch quite a bit. And the craziest thing about this is entry is completely free like all of this is free now they do have guided walks they have like a nature therapy tour they have a ghostly garden tour these are either by donation or for a fee and then depending on the time of year that you come there are also exhibitions as well which are also by donation but like if you don't want to go on a tour you can definitely just come here at your own time and then explore it at your own pace. And then while you're here, it also links to a lot of different places like Sydney Opera House, and then the Art Gallery of New South Wales, and then the State Library of New South Wales. The Royal Botanic Gardens, it's massive. Okay guys, this is incredible. There are over 20,000 kinds of plants in here. And there's barely anyone here. I'm coming here on a weekday. I think it's like me and a few other people and that's it. You know how I mentioned the garden kind of is in between a lot of different attractions? Well, now we're heading to another attraction that I really, really like. And it is also completely free. And I also cannot believe that something like this is completely free. Okay, so the Art Gallery of New South Wales has two buildings. One I've been to before, another one it's recently opened, like less than two months. Both of them are free entry and they also do daily tours, I believe at 2 p.m. every day and you don't even need to pre-book, you can just rock up. So right in the vicinity of the Royal Botanic Gardens and also the Art Gallery of New South Wales is 
the State Library of New South Wales. It's like walking distance so if you're in the area you might as well go in and check this out as well it's so beautiful and i've worked here before a number of times back in 2019 they just have like rows of desks it's like a co-working space and it's so quiet which is why i'm doing all my talking out here and sometimes you see people taking their wedding photos right on the steps it's really quite beautiful A place that never disappoints and always hits the spot is a place called Marrickville Pork Roll. Their pork rolls are delicious, but also super affordable. The reason we're at Circular Key right now is because it's really close to the next thing that we're about to do. The Circular Key shop is actually the newest one. It very, very recently opened. I got the traditional one. So we've got a bunch the thing about circular key is there are so many birds. I'm not even joking. There are seagulls, there are pigeons. Side story, multiple times I've had food taken away by seagulls. They are relentless. I've got a pork roll from Marrickville Pork Roll. You can never really go wrong with the traditional one. We've got salad, we've got pickled vegetables, we've got a bunch of sliced meats, and we've also got pate and sauces. You know what's also super yummy here? The, the one with pork crackling. You've got like the crunch from the bread and you've got the crunch from the crispy pork crackling. You've got savory from the meats. You've got a bit of acidity from the pickled vegetables. You've got freshness from like the carrots and cucumber. You've got creaminess from the pate. You've got a little bit of a kick from the tiny chili that I've got. It's so good. Okay, what's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Sydney? rising house prices but also you think of the sydney harbour bridge and also the sydney opera house and when you're in circular key which is where we're at right now you get to like see both of them pretty clearly but there's another way where you can see it even more up close so there's a ferry that takes you from circular key to manly it's typically around ten dollars and for ten dollars you get to have like a really nice ferry ride feel the the sea breeze on your hair is over we've just arrived that is probably like the best spot and we have just arrived at Manly that 20 minute ferry ride didn't feel long at all when I think of Manly the first thing that comes to mind is the beach and also the Manly to Spit walk which is a really really enjoyable walk and the views are quite nice. It's similar to the Bondi to Coogee walk and if you've done that before definitely give this one a go. Anyway if you are stuck on things to do there is an entire information store. I'm gonna go check it out. I'll check it out for you guys. I've heard many good things about rollers. Now, I know that we have a budget of $50 for today, but I want to add some like side quests, like some additional things that you can do if you have like that extra budget. Because here in Manly, there's a cafe called Rollers and they do amazing croissants. I mean, you've just had a pork roll, so you might not be that hungry anyway. But if you're craving something sweet, guys we have got ourselves just a plain croissant it's attracted some pigeons in here as well but this looks absolutely beautiful so this space is actually pretty big there's this space that i'm in right now and then there's like outdoor tables and then there's another space like there and they have a variety of different croissants there's a sausage roll as well look at all the layers that are here it's flaky it's buttery, 
темой. Okay, now depending on what you choose to do here, whether you do the walk or you want to spend time at the beach, you probably spend like a couple hours here. Um, if you start getting pretty hot, there's a place called Anita Gelato. I highly recommend you go check it out if you need something to like cool down. There's also a place that I want to show you. It's a nice bar for happy hour. If you want to take a ferry back, you absolutely can. That would be $8, uh, but if you're on a budget, then the bus. That's around three dollars. It doesn't look very obvious just from its exterior that there is a rooftop bar inside this building. And if my memory serves me correctly, they do beers and wines for eight dollars, and then they have like a specific cocktail that's ten dollars. But yeah, let's go. Let's go and confirm whether my memory is correct. So just like how I remember, the happy hour is $8. There's a selection of beers, wines, sparkling wines, and also a couple cocktails, spritzes. Um, the elderflower one is really delicious. That one is $10. This, this one's eight. I don't know why, but it's just really craving a beer today. All I need is like some chips or like hot pot. Anyway, we are gonna head to dinner in just a sec, but because you're right in like in between Wynyard and Town Hall, you can absolutely go to Westfield and do some window shopping to pass the time. And if you do go happy hour with your friends, you can like split some snacks. But you're going to dinner soon anyway, so. Okay, for dinner tonight, we're heading to a place that I always used to frequent while I was in uni. It does the job. And if you are familiar, you will know exactly what I'm talking about because you recognize the surrounding area. I'm having a beef and egg rice. They like keep a bunch of rice in this, so there's like definitely enough to keep you full and there is onions there is stewed beef there is a really beautiful onsen egg on top of rice they also do this like set where you get three mini bowls for 12.90 so if you want to have a variety you can you can opt for that and as you're getting this like when you move along the line there are also sides that you can get and drinks that you can get if if that's what you want but just for tonight, I just have a beef egg rice. In terms of the noodles, like the udon and the ramen, the prices are quite similar to the, to the rice bowl. So like a plain udon can be like $7, but then if you have toppings like beef and whatnot, it goes to 11 to 12. Okay, just done with dinner. I'm pretty happy with my beef and antama rice. If my mental maths is right, we have just a little bit of funds left and I know just the place to go to get dessert. As long as they didn't put up the price. If they did, then I don't know if we can get any. Okay, one place that never disappoints and is always a great place for like sweet stuff or like dessert is a place called Emperor's Bakery. Their Emperor's Puff is delicious. And I can never stop at one. Previously, they used to be like, I mean, years ago, they used to be like a dollar for three or four. Now they're 60 cents for one. I think I can get two. You gotta be super, super, super careful when you eat them because they've got like really, really hot cream on the inside, but it's delicious. And it's always a better deal if you get like a bunch because $5, you get 10 and four dollars you get seven. All right, and that pretty much concludes our day. I need to go back and sit down and calculate how much that all is, so. And the grand total of money that we spent this day was $48.67. We are well over a dollar within the budget. However, if we take into account our side quests with the croissant, this came to $54.67. So that did bring us over. So yeah, 
I was actually quite surprised. You can do quite a bit with just $50 here in Sydney if you know where to look. Let me know if you only had $50 what you would do. I'd be really interested to hear. And if you have like really good spots where you can get cheap bacon and egg sandwiches, please let me know. I'm always on the lookout for that. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. If you have any other challenges you want me to do, I'd love to try it out. So let me know. And if you want to see more of these videos, but with a different budget, like a hundred or 500 or a thousand, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> I'll see what we can do to make it happen. So yeah, thanks again for watching till the end. New videos every week and I'll see you in my next video next week. Bye. Those seagulls, they are relentless. They do not care that you are 20 times their size. If they see food, they will come in and swoop. I've had chips taken away from me. I've had a salmon avo wrap that had like a big bite taken from it. So yeah.